Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we see the organization structure of a warehouse. So for the general purpose, let's start with the company code. A company code represents a legal entity within a organization and is used for financial and accounting purpose. So a company code is assigned to a company which is responsible for procurement, producing, selling, paying taxes, following government norms. So the next structure is the plant. A plant is an organization unit used to represent a physical location where business activities related to production, procurement and inventory management take place. If we are talking about the warehouse, a plant is where material are stored received and sieved. Each plant can have multiple warehouse. The next organization structure is storage location. So what is the storage location? Storage location is the organization unit used to represent a physical location within a plant where materials are stored, managed and trained. A plant can have multiple storage location based on the process based on the requirement of a plant like for inbound process we can have a different storage location and for outbound process we can have a different storage location and for the scrapping process we can have a different storage location so a plant can have multiple storage location based on the need and process the next organization unit is warehouse so a warehouse is a unique location within a plant that is used to store all kinds of material such as raw material, finished material, semi-finished material. A warehouse is a physical or a logical location where products are stored, managed, processed and tracked within an organization. A warehouse comes under storage location so a warehouse can be related to different storage locations and within a warehouse we have storage types so within a warehouse we have different storage types so what is the storage type a storage type is the logical division of a warehouse based on characteristics and purpose for example your warehouse stores different kinds of material like bulky materials small materials uh, hazardous materials so for different materials we have to manage different storage types so storage type is a physical location in a warehouse the next thing is storage section so a storage type is further divided into storage sections a uh, storage type must have at least one storage section so it is nothing but just a subdivision of storage types so that we can further enhance the storing capacity of a warehouse the next thing is storage bin so storage bin in a warehouse is the smallest unit of a space what does it mean so it means uh, a storage bin identifies the exact location in the warehouse where goods can be stored so it is the smallest physical location in a warehouse one thing i want to say here uh, storage bin can further subdivided into bin sections like a storage bin can have multiple bin sections uh, this kind of uh, technique is used where the storage bin has a larger space so like you want to store material into a storage bin but you have like in a bulk quantity of material so you want to store so you can subdivide the storage bin into bin sections but 
it is not a organization structure it is just uh, for convenience the next thing is quant a quant is nothing but uh, just a number assigned to a um, quantity of material with similar characteristics in in a single storage bin so it is just a number not a physical location and the next thing is storage unit so storage unit is a logical grouping of one or more material that can be managed as a unit within a warehouse so if you are storing some good to a storage bin and you have a complete box or a, you have a pallet or you have a crate in which there are two or three or five or a single kind of material is stored that is known as a single storage unit this is the organization structure of a warehouse hope you have understand the complete organization structure of a warehouse in a sap environment so thank you for watching my video